If this month hasn't told you already, I love Ace Attorney. As a whole, it is probably my favorite video game franchise in history. Some people, including hardcore gamers, do not look at these as games. And while I see why, when I implore people to try it out, I am usually greeted with the same comment. It's a book, not a game. So I'm gonna ask a big question here. Is Ace Attorney better as a video game? Or a novel? First, let's get three things before we started. Yes, technically this is a visual novel series, no doubt about that. But does the series work better as a video game, or more like a physical book? Second, I'm going to be as objective as possible and will not be bringing personal opinion into this. And third, I'm going to be looking at the first Ace Attorney game as a base. Now let's get down to it. First off, could this series work as a book? Technically, yes, it could. It would be one heck of a long book, but it could be done. If you're excluding game overs, you always end up at the same conclusion at the end of a case. A not guilty verdict and everything. And even though there are moments where you get to pick your own direction, kind of like in the second case, they all eventually lead to the same conclusion and not change the ending like games like Heavy Rain. So the linear narrative can be translated into the book. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at the second big question. Which is more effective in its storytelling? Now I'm going to be giving three pros, three to novel, and three to video game. And at the end, I'm going to draw my own conclusions, and I want to hear your guys' opinions on it. Okay, let's start with novel first. Number one, you can create an abridged version. Just like the movie, a book would be able to cut out some of the unnecessary moments that can either be removed or combined with something else. This would leave you with only extremely important moments, and the overarching story would feel a lot more natural. And unlike the games, it would not need to create a filler case to make it feel like a complete game. Number two, different possible writing. Similar to plays, the game has to explain everything through dialogue and occasionally Phoenix's head. A novel could create different ways of explaining this by either using a third-person perspective or having Phoenix describe more in-depth things. This would allow a lot more unique ways of writing that cannot be done efficiently in the game. Number three, no restrictions. The first game was originally on the GBA and the creators were only barely able to fit everything they wanted onto it. This meant that some characters got stuck with only three or four sprite movements each. However, a book does not have these limitations. The character's actions are not restricted by how much space is left on the cartridge, only how much description the author gives them. So those are the three main pros I saw when I was thinking about it as a novel. Now let's take a look at the video game pros. Number one, charm. How often have you heard this? Objection! That part all comes from the charm that the video game brings. The over-the-top bubbles, the breakdowns, and other moments could not contain the same amount of fun as if it was a book. This charm also extends to the soundtrack and the character designs. Number two, leaps in logic. Have you ever read a Sherlock Holmes story before? The ends of the books are usually always dedicated to explaining how Sherlock got to the solution, and everyone is left confused at how any person could piece all of that together. A book version of Ace Attorney would likely have this problem too. However, when you get to figure out the crime on your own using only a few hints, you understand the leaps in logic because you personally solved it, not another character. And while we're on the topic of playing as a character, Number three, emotion. Since you are in control of Phoenix, you personally make your own opinions and relationships with the characters. You fought Edgeworth two times in court and saw his transition, which is why you wanted to help him when he got accused of murder, not just because the game tells you. This connection also applies to the courtroom segments. When you are in control of a character, you personally feel the importance and intensity rather than a bystander who watches on as if you were reading the book. So now let's compare these two lists. Overall, I think the story works better as a video game, not as a book. Just by putting you in the shoes of the protagonist means a lot. You are personally involved in the story and all the emotions. Yes, you will have to play through some filler cases. Yes, there are technical limitations that could be improved. Yes, the writing could be a lot more creative and unique. But choosing all of those over having your own personal connection is frankly not worth it in the end. It also helps that Ace Attorney has so much charm that could not ever be written in a book. 
And if I brought any of the sequels into this, video games would have won by a landslide with things like the psych locks. And I want to hear your own opinion. Are there pros that I missed? Or are there cons that I missed? Does Ace Attorney work better as a book or as a video game? I want to hear your guys' opinion on this because I think this could be a very interesting discussion. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.